You don't exactly have to be David Attenborough to understand that the largest birds on this planet are the ostriches, the largest land animals on this planet are the African elephants, and the largest animal on this planet is the blue whale. These animals quite rightly get a lot of attention because they are very large and interesting creatures, but I think there are some other giants that deserve some attention too. Some animals aren't necessarily giants in the conventional sense, but they are giants of their own world. In this series I will be focusing on animals that are the largest members of their family, and in today's video I will be focusing on birds. Today there are over 200 families of bird, and in this video I will be focusing on just a few, as I will be going through 5 birds that are the largest of their kind. The first bird family I will be focusing on is full of relatively large birds, and this family is the stork family. Storks are large wading birds with very long legs and very long necks. They usually have very long stout bills, and they look very similar in appearance to the herons and ibises. Today there are 19 extant species of stork, and these species are split into 6 genera. Some of the more striking members of the stork family are the saddle-billed stork and the painted stork, but generally storks aren't known for being pretty birds. As there are so many stork species, they come in many different shapes and sizes, and each species can have a different diet. Most storks eat frogs, fish and insects, but some of the larger species are known to eat birds and small mammals. Storks have a nearly cosmopolitan distribution, but they are absent from the poles, most of North America and large parts of Australia. The vast majority of storks are found in Asia and Sub-Saharan Africa, and this includes the largest species of them all. The three largest storks are all members of the same genus, and the largest of these three is the marabou stork. This stork is native to sub-Saharan Africa, and it breeds in both wet and arid habitats. I think it's safe to say that the marabou stork is not the prettiest of birds, but its mostly bold head gives us a clue as to what it eats. Unlike some of the smaller storks that feed on mostly aquatic prey, the marabou stork mostly feeds on carrion and scraps. They can often be seen at carcasses with vultures and hyenas, and they'll eat anything from flamingos to dead elephants. Although this bird's diet and appearance may make it seem quite sinister, it does play an important role in the African ecosystem. By removing carcasses and rotting material, these storks help to stop the spread of certain diseases. So even though these birds aren't going to win any beauty contests, they are still very important, and they are also very large. The marabou stork can measure 1.5 meters in height, and can weigh a whopping 9 kilograms. Despite this weight, they are still able to fly because of their massive wingspan, and although it's rumored that this wingspan can be up to 4 meters, the maximum recorded length is around 3.2 meters. So it turns out that the marabou stork is not only a giant among storks, but it's a giant in the overall bird world. The next bird family we will be taking a look at are the kingfishers. Kingfishers are generally small to medium-sized birds, and the majority of these species are brightly coloured. They have a cosmopolitan distribution, with the majority of species being found in the tropical regions of Africa, Asia and Australia. They can be found in quite a few habitats across their range, from deep forests to calm ponds and large rivers. The kingfisher family is a lot larger than the stork family, and there are currently 116 species that are divided into 3 subfamilies and 19 genera. One subfamily mostly contains small river-loving species, another includes slightly larger kingfishers such as the pied kingfisher, and the last subfamily is the largest, and also contains the largest kingfisher in the world. As the kingfisher family is so large, there are so many different fascinating members. One is completely extinct in the wild but still exists in captivity, some of course are extremely vibrant, and some are very large. The largest kingfisher in Africa is the giant kingfisher, but even this species is outdone by a bird that's not always known as a kingfisher. Kookaburras are tree kingfishers, and there are five species that can be found across Australia and neighbouring countries. The largest of these species is the laughing kookaburra, and this kookaburra is also one of the loudest. It has a very distinctive laugh, and this laugh is often used as a stock sound effect in situations that involve a jungle setting. As the laughing kookaburra is the largest kingfisher, it does feed on relatively large prey. It feeds on a vast array of animals, and this includes small mammals, other birds, and venomous snakes. 
This meaty diet helps them reach such an impressive size, as they can weigh up to 470 grams, and they have a length of around 48 centimeters with a wingspan of around 70 centimeters. This size truly makes them the king of kingfishers, and they have quite a big personality to match. The next bird family that we will be focusing on are the nightjars. Nightjars are mostly nocturnal birds, and they're characterized by their long wings, short legs, and short bills. Strangely, they are sometimes referred to as goat suckers, and this is due down to the ancient folk tale that they sucked milk from goats. In some areas, they are also referred to as bug eaters, and this is more accurate as the majority of nightjar species feed on a wide variety of insects. Nightjars are found all around the world, with the exception of Antarctica and certain island groups such as the Seychelles. As nightjars are nocturnal, they're often viewed as very mysterious birds, and across the three subfamilies there are some interesting designs. There are the strange feathers of the standard winged nightjar, and the interesting tufts on the great-eared nightjar. Strangely, this species is also one of the largest nightjars in the world, and it is the largest based on some metrics. The battle for the title of largest nightjar is between two species, the Nakunda nighthawk and the great-eared nightjar. This bird is the largest species in terms of length, but the Nakunda nighthawk is heavier. This species is found in quite a few countries across South America and tends to inhabit flooded grasslands. Unlike some of the other nightjar species, it is most active during the day and mostly feeds on flying insects. As we've already covered, it is heavier than its rival at 190 grams, but it is slightly shorter with a maximum length of around 35 centimeters. I would love to tell you its wingspan, but there were simply no measurements that I could find, but it's thought to have a much larger wingspan than its rival. So even though it may not look like most other nightjars, it is the largest, and it is an expert insect hunter. The next family of birds we will be taking a look at are the loons or the divers. Loons are a group of mostly aquatic birds, and they're found across much of North America and Northern Eurasia. All living species of loon are members of the same genus, and there are five species in this genus. Loons really are expert swimmers, and they can dive up to 60 meters below the water's surface. To be able to reach these depths, they have to be very dense birds, and they also have a few other interesting adaptations. To help them swim more efficiently, their legs are at the rear of their body, and this makes them extremely clumsy on land. Instead of walking, they have to hop with their bellies on the ground, and this means that they're very vulnerable to predators when they're on land. The most well-known species of loon is the common loon, but the largest is its close relative, the yellow-billed loon. The yellow-billed loon is an arctic species, and breeds primarily along the coasts of the Arctic Ocean. This species is a specialist fish eater, and dives in pursuit of its prey which is caught underwater. It does look very similar in appearance to the common loon, but as you might be able to guess by its name, it has a brightly coloured bill. As well as being a very striking bird, the yellow-billed loon is also a very large bird, as it can weigh in with a maximum weight of around 6.5 kilograms, and it has a length of around 1 meter with a wingspan of around 1.6. This truly makes it a giant among the divers, and it's a very impressive aquatic predator. The final family of birds we will be taking a look at are the woodpeckers. Woodpeckers are a group of colourful, fascinating birds, and they're found all over the world with the exception of the polar regions, Australia, New Guinea, New Zealand, and Madagascar. Most species are found in forest or woodland habitats, yet there are some species that are found in treeless environments. Some specialise in rocky hillside habitats, and others prefer deserts. Members of this family are known for their characteristic behaviour, and they have a few important adaptations that enable them to do this. Their brains are surrounded by a thick, plate-like spongy bone, and this bone helps to absorb the pressure and allows them to carry on pecking. There are quite a few reasons why woodpeckers peck at wood, as they use woodpecking as a form of communication, and they also peck wood to create nests, and to catch their prey. They peck holes in wood to get at insects within, and to catch these insects they have an extremely long sticky tongue. This tongue curls around the back of their head, and they can shoot it out at will. Although some woodpecker species can be very aggressive, they do also help many other bird species to survive. When a woodpecker abandons its nest, these nests become available for other birds such as owls and cavity nesting ducks. Because they help other birds out in this way, they are known as a keystone species, and unfortunately many woodpeckers around the world are disappearing. 
Famously, the ivory-billed woodpecker is thought to be extinct, and so is the largest woodpecker in the world. The imperial woodpecker is a species endemic to Mexico, but it's currently listed as critically endangered, possibly extinct. Historically, it's always been a rare species, and the population never numbered more than 8,000 individuals. It's thought that their extinction was due down to habitat destruction and fragmentation, but hunting also played a massive part. Their body parts were eaten and they were also used in traditional medicine, but some were shot due to logging interests. It really is a shame that we potentially lost this species due down to very selfish reasons, and if this bird is still out there, it is a giant. It's thought to have a maximum weight of around 550 grams, and it was thought to have a length of around 60 centimeters and a wingspan of 76 centimeters. I really do hope this giant woodpecker is still out there, but unfortunately there hasn't been a sighting in decades. If you have any other animals that you want me to include in a video such as this, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, but until next time, goodbye.